Right, but we shall continue. Because of course we will continue. I'm gonna save. Yes. Let's do it, dude. I'm ready for the trial. Hey! Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, one way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Prosecutor, Edgeworth. Prosecutor, Edgeworth, sorry. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's office today. Yesterday. You better kick his ass. I'm trying, dude. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it in good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have the judge in his pocket do? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty and the story? I would do anything to get my, ver my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? I love, I love, like, like again, I think that she looks super cute with that. <laughs> innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. It's good. You've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him. Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! The defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the animations for the characters. They're just so fucking good. Okay, let's do this shit, dude. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor, I will be defending myself. <clears throat> Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask uh, Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. I kinda wanna let it go. I don't think it's it's worth pointing out. But I, since I have the op- Let me go ahead and save. Since I have the option... I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fey? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. This is not a good excuse. What is this bullshit? Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. This is gonna be frustrating, isn't it? Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. Appreciate your demeanor. I don't! Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red Pipe to the stand. Are you kidding me? Just, I'm sorry, I just thought that he wouldn't be important and then that's it? Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Good god, I hate him. Your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Or they got everyone under his, his control? This is scary as fuck then. Name. These two are great together, huh? My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Blanco Nino! The fuck? I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Do you know the victim Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct, and you witnessed the murder from there. <clears throat> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. 
Hold on. <laughs> uh, hold on. I, I'm talking. I'm talking to chat. <laughs> Just laughing so much because because the problem is uh, Automot uh, Automot got caught uh, uh, one of my my chatters right now uh, as racist because he said that he hated this white guy <laughs> and he's talking about the last name white not the the ethnicity but it was so funny to me because Automot is so out of context it was like nobody can allow that and I understand obviously. But like, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was super censored immediately because like, yeah, of course, out of context, it looks bad. But in context, we're talking about last name. Oh my God. Then Automot was like, yeah, by the way, like we cannot allow that. And I'm like, yeah, I understand. But in this case, like in this case, it actually makes sense. Uh, ah, hi, by the way. Hi, Danka. How are you doing? Nice to see you. And do not... Do not be sorry for, for being busy. <laughs> uh, I hope that your presentation goes very well, by the way. If I can rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do you always feel like, it, like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Okay, well, here we go then. It's not my fault that this man, this name is, is white red. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know I did it in your fault. That's why I, I broke you out of out of mud prison. I hope that you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. God damn. Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying. Hmm. That's written to you, some papers by the witness. Then I heard a bedlam coming from the outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Perusifying, yeah. How come you're typing on chatting? Um, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to to address something real quickly in chat, but that's that's about it. It was then when I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss Mia, Miss May, over at once. He too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If this thing occurs, you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, er, uh, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. Yes, Bianca, that is the first thing that I noticed when I saw. When I saw me, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. No, but in this case, we're talking about, we're talking about Ma uh, Mia, yeah, 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 Mia. I was quietly perusifying and reading. Yeah. By window, you mean the one directly across uh, from Bayanko? Correct, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers. Yeah, I know, I know. Nobody can help it. <laughs> it's very noticeable that Mia is quite blessed on the front side of her body, but yes. <laughs> it's okay if you notice it, yeah, I understand. But she's dead also, so respect the dead. The gay water is a businessman who's hell, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. Then I hear a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned and look, to look at the building across the way. It was then when I saw him. Spiky heard. It is just... What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the Asawan looked like a girl. I was been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting boy out, boy eyes. Forty. Forty. They're nothing together. What the fuck? I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? Obviously against me. Told Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. 
Yeah, well, it was Miss May doing. She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Do you know she had been uh, tapping the pay of his phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case in hand. I care not. I will answer. The law is bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone on this pay woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, ho, ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Why are they are they teasing that he is a Latino, by the way? The big thing, she, she ran away a bit, but you gave chase. That is not true. Can you be a little bit detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende. I understand. Comprende. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck, uh, struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Okay. Perhaps you could change your testi testimony to reflect in this new detail. The victim ran to the left, but you gave cha chase. Hold on. This is what I have to present. This is a, a, um, a lawyer game. It is like a visual novel when you have to investigate and, and discover what the fuck is happening. It is not a story just per se because you can lose the game. But yes, I am the lawyer and I am defending myself because he thinks, he said that I did it. But I know that he's the, the assassin. Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Let's go, dude. It is simple, you have misheard her. Nope, I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim was here. The victim ran to the left, as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. You have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Let's go, we broke him down. Very strange. I did see her run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True, maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the going. Wait a second, Mr. Wright. <clears throat> yes, your honor. Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Mr. Ms. May saw it from behind, from, from the window, right? And she saw May take uh, a right, but to Mr. White, it was left. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one, okay? And if I fuck it up, let me save. Good God, please don't let me fuck it up. Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. I doubt it. Rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. Hold on. There is one scenario that will explain their conflicting accounts. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? He was not in the hotel. Where could have been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. There you go. Both are right. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the crew what Mr. White was standing. Oh, well, like here, he's the killer. Wait, the fuck do I do? Take that. This is where he was. Look, the big thing ran to the door. If he was watching from this point, for, to him it would appeal like that she ran left. Please, this is no time for jokes in ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly. This is what we're saying, you peace. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in, in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion, the fuck is this dude saying? The postulations of the defense are, dist are a distortion to the truth, your honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Hmm, uh-huh. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? 
The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. You, Mr. Your Honor, okay? Might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your vice testimony. Is this really allowed? I'm not a lawyer, but like, can I just go into the court and be like, well, this is my testimony. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. So I might like tell it again in a different way. I feel like that's not, that cannot be true. Makes no fucking sense. This game is very inaccurate to actual law. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. You can fix a, bro a broken testimony, buddy. It was how made to make fun of the Japanese law system. Really? Well, um, it, it was. It ended up being hella entertaining. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, and as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. This is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chase her and deliver the final blow. That is incorrect. Again? The, this, the side? This is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Do you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, that is that is obviously not true. Okay, this, this is easy. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. I mean... All I have to do is go ahead and... and this means that somebody was correct and so was mine. You also have to guess me. Uh huh. Last of her strength. That makes no sense. What do you mean next? Next is what comes after first. Fuck you. I know that. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. Present. The autopsy. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. I think that this is it. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. He's fucked, dude. He's fucked. What do you have to say about that? Mmm, that's my chance to, to hit him where he counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this score you were absolutely perfect? Abso but suit Abso possibly perfect. What the fuck is this dude? Abso possibly perfect. What the fuck? Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Let's go. We won. The humanity has won. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is all, it's obviously confused, Your Honor, yeah. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is, is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that, uh, that there to be no break, Your Honor. Fun fact says the witness isn't supposed to be allowed to speak unless asked a question. It's an extremely bad idea to say, what do you say about that? <laughs> Yeah, we want justice, yeah. Don't let me get away. Very well. If the witness will care to revise his testimony, God's on my side. No sleeping out of this one now. Okay, I do believe that we have people, like, judging, right? Not just to judge, but we have, like, you know, um, jury duty. Jury people, right? They should be able to tell, you know, what's happening. Mr. White. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Posture check. Thank you. Thank you, Bianca. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have very bad posture. Um, well, see, I look at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she touched. Um, and then she turned and ran to the door. Then you did her in the in the you did her in with a single blow. Twap. Hmm. Twap indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross examination, Mister Your Honor. My stomach. You see, it is hurting. 
Deal with it. This is almost over. Uh Mr. Yonor, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you also have very bad posture. I'm always every time that I see the posture check, I'm reminded of the Nirvana song Penero T. I have very bad posture. Sit and drink Penero T. <laughs> I'm singing very badly, by the way, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'm always reminded of that. I'm like, you know, I'm like, every time that I hear that lyric, I'm like, yeah, he's just like me. Like, legit. I have very bad posture. Hmm. Well, see. I look at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What? What thing fall? You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, that. The glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about this strike you, uh, strike you as odd? Yes, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your te testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. Okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Let me check this shit. There's no way he saw it from the window. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, your honor. Now look. From the window you cannot see shit, so fuck you. If we were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you will be able to see. Here. Well, note that this stand is not within the visible area. But Mr. White, what do you have to say about that? Yeah. Ridiculosity. <laughs> Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, and it a Phoenix Wright but not clean mod? What is a Phoenix Wright but not clean mod? Like, you know, people saying like, fuck you and, and shit and stuff like that. <laughs> that would be incredible. If that exists, I'm gonna have to download it. Because that would be so cool. You could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Yeah, Phoenix just says, fuck you, white, damn right, dude. And I will have a lot of fun with that reading. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a, as a glass light stand. So, when do you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that form from is inside the Fay Law Offices. In other words, you were the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> He needs an exorcism, dude. An exorcism. Come on, you beast. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I... I... Miss Mia. Looks like we're about to get our verdict. That's fair enough, per, uh, Phoenix Wright. Ugh, I forgot about Edgeward. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Are you kidding me? I thought that we had it in the back. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished member of the court. I, heard th I hate this guy with my life. Mr. White is slightly confused. Okay, can we appreciate how good Edgeworth actually is as a lawyer? No! No, we cannot. He's, he's super dirty. And he's a piece of crap. <laughs> no, that actually sucks. <laughs> we will not appreciate Edgeward. In this house, we do not stand him. He's like child. We do not stand child in this house. We do not stand Edgeward in this house. 
I really don't like the way this is headed, by the way. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss May. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? I want to middle finger the camera, dude. He's back to form. Just give me a break, dude. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Co. law offices. That is when I saw the accursed a life stand. I want him to. Oh my god. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Bright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He, was, he has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer, yeah? However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to, the, to that office well before the murder look pla took place, when he went to place the, the wiretap. We could have seen the glass like stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture that is. Fun fact, Edgeport is one of the two prosecutors that don't hurt or injure Phoenix when they have a rebuttal. What is a rebuttal? I guess in like... You know, game over? Who will testify to the court about this wiretapping. <clears throat> Leave it to me. Like a counter argument. Oh! Okay. I didn't know that, that you could get hurt in this game like that. I feel faint. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered a uh, pay and call off of offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Okay? So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident? And this is how you were able to identify uh, what had fallen over by the, sound, by the sound? Are you kidding me? Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Bro. Good luck, Phoenix, okay? <clears throat> it was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wire that was placed for the murder. Right. As for is pretty smart using the witness crime against the defendant. Yeah, to be fair, yes. But like, he's still like hateful to me in my book. Was it really you that went to the office? Or was it Miss Faye? Miss May. Identified fingerprints several days old were found in, in the Faye and Co. law offices. It was obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeburg, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Faye and Co. law offices. Of course I had done so to play to the wiretap. Why did you tap Mia's phone? Bruh. It has no bearing on the current case, your honor. Man! Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have responsibility to protect client conf confidentiality. That is when I saw the, the oh my god dude. This this things. Yeah, why did you notice the lag son? <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Maybe I can bluff something out of him? Hmm, okay, this just proves him right. What about the thinker? Why didn't you notice the thinker? Why didn't you notice the thinker? Can I present this? No? Am I afraid that that is as far as you go? No! 
I want to present my thinker. No more. I can't take this anymore. Yes? What? I needed to- I, I wanted to present the thinker. What just happened? I know that voice. Mia, never give up, Phoenix. What the fuck just happened? Or was it? Where am I? The wedding lobby? What happened? Is this part of the story or did I fuck up? Because I feel like I could have blessed on why did you notice the last time but not the, the statue? I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Welcome back, mommy. I'm sorry, Mia. That's no way of getting an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. I mean, gladly. Hello. What? What? You're Maya. Oh, okay. Hello, Maya. Didn't you know the fake women have strong physical powers? Psychic powers, sorry. Physic powers, I'm sure that they, they do as well. But they look, they look healthy as fuck. When you accept that you're defeating court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. The I signed up to, to play a lawyer simulator, not what is happening. We contacted the spirits from, from the great beyond. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You already won. You have that receipt in the court in the court record, right? Phoenix, right? White wrote that, not me, yeah? So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. Why didn't we ever check the front of the receipt? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item? Glass light stand. Date of purchase September the fourth. September the fourth. That's right, finish. I bought that stand uh, the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now what did Mr. Y say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. The murder. He said he saw the stand this, the, the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. Uh, you know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Bro, can Mia just testify uh, in court who killed her? Yeah, because they're gonna believe. <laughs> like, hello, I'm Maya. I am I am uh, Mia's sister and I have shuttled her, her spirit. So, hello. I am here to testify. He did it, by the way. <laughs> that would be so funny if they did that. Right. Okay, so why didn't they check that before? Like, you have to be kidding me. Go will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix, right? Is the defendant rather... Are you alright? Yes. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Alright, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. Because examination of, of Mr. White has finished. I wanted to press on the, the statue, but okay. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. But uh, Mr. Edgeworth uh, has noted the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give... Mr. Finish right his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Well, this should be easy now that the spirits decided to talk to us. Well. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Bahaha, <laughs> you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? You realize you, you've never gotten a single thing wrong? Yo, let's go. But also, like, the spirits are talking to me, so I'm guessing this is the easy part of the game. 
you tell the court what is written on the other side of, of the receipt? I am the best uh, fake lawyer on planet Earth, in my opinion. Hmm. Well, a glass I stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. Look at him. Yeah, look at them. Those pieces of fucking shit. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Pay and Call offices at the beginning of September, this time could not have been there. That bitch is dead. Well, Mr. White, can you get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. <laughs> It's just like me creating new words. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, your honor, I understand that must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree, you can judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Not so fast, finish right? Hmm? What? No way. Can he worm his way up this one? Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgewood, yeah. There is a certain thread of logic to this defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Finnish Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he, as he pleases. This is bad. Object. Mr. White's guilty. guilt is so obvious. There is no need to prolong this, this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeford? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it will be me, the prosecutor. I need a date to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. Fuck me! Fuck me! The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. There's no telling what will happen if I can end this now. It's pretty sure to come up with or just make up something. After me, I showed up to help me and all. Dude, I hate this dude. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. The witness, the witness will stay. <gasps> Mia, Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? We are being saved by, by Ghost Waifu, let's go. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. I mean, this, this stupid fuck. Okay, will you not be persistent if you were being like, you know, claimed to be guilty of killing your friend? And co-worker and boss. Like, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be persistent. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna just let it be. Like, let, yeah, I'm innocent, I'm, I'm, I'm innocent, but I'm gonna declare myself guilty. Now, let's go. All right. You bet I am. My life is rotten in this one. Yeah, like, what the fuck do you, like, yeah, okay. You're persistent on, on being innocent, Mr. Wright. Why don't you just go to jail? Have something I would like to read to the court. Let me read my, my attorney's badge. <laughs> no, what is the, the thing? Mia's memo. A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Is this is this it? Yes. Wait, do they get that for murder in Japan Fornia? You know what? It could be it. Could be it. He's, he's saying that his life is in danger. So you know what? It could be it. Yeah. Take that. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. Ah, uh, that's when it happened. Stop. This is hot. Please, stop. Make him stop. How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, I made you guilty. Right here, right now. The rest of this list will, will be released to the press. I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite an, an a spirited defense. 
Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited he was. Hmm, well, the scholar finds the defense. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Wait, why is the owner not even questioning how Maya grew up in 50 minutes? I think that, that it's only us who, who can look at it like that. But she looks good. But yeah, that, we are the only ones who can look at it like that. That is all. This score is adjourned. Now look, can, 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 can Mia stay like with us? Like for a bit more? Just asking for a friend, essentially. I clip you? Yo, let's go. I'm gonna check it out. I'm scared of your clips now. <laughs> But I'm gonna check it out. I had a lot of fun reading, uh, checking out the the Buenas Tetas one. <laughs> okay, anyway. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. There's a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. Except you're not alive. But I hear is joining out. Huh? Maya's power is still weak. Yeah, I can't stay here for that long. What the hell? There's still so much to say. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief? Hehe, <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say 9? Ooh. The office. I'll see you later. Phew, Mia. Yo, let's go. Being here, it's hard not to think about, you know, that night. You came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Of course I came. Well then... I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Oh, man. Mia? You should see your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Aww. I was like, yo, let's go. It's time, we're gonna get it on with a ghost. I, what the hell was that, would that feel? But nah, nah. You know. No! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's Maya. Maya's still cute though, but like, it ain't the same. Maya? What, did it look like my sister? Look like you wear her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, will you? Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Oh, take care of, take care of me. She means to the office. This of what? I thought it was me. What about me? I have needs, you know. Someone has to help with the new ride and call off his- Oh, shit! Oh, who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. Yo! <laughs> okay. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. He has said that uh, that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners now. Okay, well, I, I, I guess. You know, when I think about it, it is my fault that I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right and call the offices. It's, it, it, it's got a good ring to it. What I want to know is what happened. Why Why did the list of names got, you know, the dude to, to freak out? That's what I want to know. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Ooh, yo, let's go. Good luck, Phoenix. Yo, this is dope, actually. I'll always be here watching. You know, jokes aside, it is it is quite quite cool, honestly. But like at the same time, I would have loved to want to to win the case by myself, rather than like you know, the spirit of my friend who was murdered coming back to help me. Like, <laughs> the fuck happened? Right? I, I was like, yo, I'm a, I'm a cool lawyer, I'm getting everything right, and they were like, nope. Phoenix ain't that good yet. But I, I am good, dude. Like, come on. It wasn't that, that bad of a case. Also, like, I wonder ever since we got it, what if we read the fucking receipt? But, like, they, they decided not to do it. Phoenix decided not to do it. 
probably the same people what black metal and more did before. Yes, but like he could have played dumb. You know what I'm saying? He could have been like, oh, what is this list of names? What are you saying? Right? And then what? And then what do we do? What do we say? It, it is probably that, but I wonder. Right, okay, Nick. Let's do it. Let's do what? Do what? Burgers, though. I mean, burg oh, man. <laughs> it's nice to know that the game is self-aware into what they dissed, but never delivered. But you know what? I, I respect a game that is self-aware. Ah. <sighs> We're gonna make it. We're, we're gonna do it. Not again. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna do burgers. There's a great burger that joined just down the street. Ah. No, thinking about buns and meat, dude. And now we gotta we gotta go eat burgers for real. Okay. Wait up. The end. Wow. Well, we gave it a, we gave it a shot, but the game didn't want to to put out. So be it then. Yo, hold on. A brand new episode has been added. No, 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 no. Do not stop it. Save save my progress. Yes. But also like, but like yeah. Let me go back. Yeah. Okay. No, stop it. How do I stop it? Oh no, there's too many things happening. <laughs> okay, I wanted to end it, but oh, okay. why can I not? You don't stop it? Just, okay, I'll watch the preview then. Do you in okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the moon runs. Okay, there's many things happening. That means next week's exciting episode, the Dark Messenger returns. Can I, can I, can I put pause into this? Yes, I can. Thank you very much for watch for letting me watch the preview. But we shall end it right here. Um, I believe that we have saved. Yes, perfect. <clears throat> Title screen. Yes. And with all that being done and being said. Thank you for watching Finish Riders Attorney. Hold on. Oh my god. I just got a once off graphic design for uh $1,246. What? Congratulations! We celebrate victories in chat 100 percent around here. Congratulations, Bianca. That's so cool to know. But now you're packing, god damn, dude. <laughs> That is surreal. That is like a lot of money. But like, well, to me, it's a huge amount of money. So congratulations. Yeah. I hope that that now I can get Xiao and Shenye. We need to make like an intervention group in chat, in Discord. Uh, about gacha interventions, like as soon as possible. Because we can, <laughs> we need, uh, like, if you need to talk about it, like, let me know. Because that can <laughs> That is not the one, the first thing that I think about <laughs> when... <laughs> no, but then, okay, okay, okay. We, I'm gonna make the intervention channel come true if this keeps happening, because Wallacoon needs a rest. We cannot keep counting on Wallacoon every time that we see a new cool character, and a waifu, or a daddy. Um, You know, there are many, there are many waifus and daddies in Finnish, right? And it's not a gacha, so I, I, I'm just saying, right? Um, but yes, you're welcome and thank you for sharing. Like, I'm so happy for you. I hope that you make the most out of the opportunity. And, you know, if they entrusted you with the with the job, then that means that you're good enough. And even you know, even better things will come. So congratulations. That's for real. And, and enjoy the cash and also, like, do your best so that many more opportunities may come. Um, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh... Finish right, Ace Attorney, Trilogy, uh, the first game and the second case has been completed. Um, with this and with this amazing news, we shall end the video and also the stream, to be honest with you. 